Gen Y and Gen Z, people who are between 10 and 41, have spent what should have been some of their most thriving years in a pandemic. Many sacrificed their in-school experience, struggled to find work, lost jobs, held off on big decisions, and dealt with travel restrictions. I'll be like graduating in the next like year or so, and so I think finding a job, it's very, very undetermined. I'm hoping that things will stabilize, but it, it's hard to predict right now. Being a student, living at home, you know, rent-free, I do have a job. I'm hopeful that I will be one day able to um, own or rent. But not everyone can say that with hope. A Leger study surveying millennials and Gen Z finds 66% don't think Canada's economic situation will get any better this year. And 62% believe neither will their personal finances. Real estate is through the roof. Inflation is, is skyrocketing. The price of food is up. I want to get a job in my field, but if I really need the money at that point, I'll just be getting whatever job can really help me sustain and then pay rent. Personal finance expert Rubina Ahmed Huck says the pandemic has been tough on younger generations. They've been on the sidelines watching the housing market go up. They might have lost their job during the pandemic, so they've had to go on emergency assistance. And I would believe that most people who graduate from university were not, you know, planning on having to go on EI. Paul Kershaw, founder of Generation Squeeze, a nonprofit organization advocating for young adults, says the findings are not surprising. Younger people are going to school more to land jobs that pay less. They face way higher housing prices um, and they are inheriting large government and environmental debts. 79% of those polled feel our environmental situation won't improve this year, up from 75% in 2020. I worry as life goes back that perhaps we might go backwards in that realm. Things like electric vehicles, alternative energies, and stuff like that that right now are too cost prohibitive. I think people are more like understanding the consequences of what's happening. Kershaw says people may feel more hopeful once they see improvements. We haven't seen our carbon emissions uh, uh, you know, really drop substantially. 77% of people polled don't believe our political and social situation will improve this year either. That's up from 70% in 2020. The protests and everything right now are certainly not something that are, you know, inspiring a lot of optimism. I would like to think that we'll be able to get back to how we were. There definitely is a lot of division. Kershaw says the pessimism Gen Y and Z are feeling has been long coming. So this isn't just a pandemic issue. This is years in the making. The seniors in our lives, they'll have actually the guaranteed income supplement that's delivered already and has been for decades through the old age security system. A younger demographic doesn't have access to that. Let's replicate the same level of systems change in order to restore the ability for hard work to pay off. Charmaine Samani, Global News.